Hello everybody, this is Joel Layton and this is a video for everybody out there who's been kind of waiting for this video for a long time. I am so sorry. I am going to go ahead and start. So we have questions here from followers on my Instagram page. If you're not following my Instagram page, you can see the link right here across my face or down here. And you can follow if you have not followed. We're gonna start out quickly. I don't wanna take so long on this video because I think that it's clear, you know, that I've been able to lose weight. Um, you know, from those who follow me and for those who don't, well, you can see on my Instagram page that it, I've lost up to 190 pounds and I am working on finally being able to break that 200 pounds because it has not been easy guys. Getting back from the surgery and recovering and everything has kind of slowed down a little bit of everything and it's uh, I've been getting a more of an appetite to eat and uh, maybe not as not as I used to before but it's just more calories you know because my body's just it went through a 12-hour surgery, so much stress. I don't know how much blood I lost. I mean, it's it's a recovery that I knew that it was going to take a while. So we're going to go ahead and recover. But I have a follow-up appointment coming up. And I'm so excited because hopefully they take out the stitches. And I'll be able to do some cardio inside of the pool, which I like. And take classes and all that stuff. So I'm just so excited and so pumped for all that stuff and hopefully I can get that done. So let's go on to the first question we have here. Uh, one of my followers, I like to call them friends, is Eve for us. She says, how long have you been juicing? How many meals do you eat a day? And you are awesome. Thank you so much, Eve, for us. Um, I have been juicing since March of 2014 and I, eat, I started it. I did the whole reboot reset thing to my body for three and a half weeks when I started and I lost 35 pounds just doing that. Nothing but juice. Three, no, it was four to six, it was four to six juices a day and um, believe it or not, it did fill me up and it kept me in control and I felt the withdrawals. Don't get me wrong, juicing, you will feel the withdrawals. So. You have to kind of go ahead and be ready for that because especially if you're a big sodium intake, uh, if you have a lot of sodium intake, that will withdraw and give you headaches. Um, also, if you're a big, I mean, not big, but I mean, if you drink alcohol, that's also a big, a lot of caffeine. That will also do a lot of, uh, a lot of withdrawals and you'll be like, ah, uh, I need a, I need something. I, when I did that in the beginning, I took some uh, ibuprofen and cleared it right out. How many meals do I eat a day? I eat now, I'm actually eating one meal, one good meal a day. I'm drinking my juice in the morning and I'm drinking my juice at night. So I have the lunch slash almost dinner, what we call it, the, I don't even know what you call it, liner, <laughs> I guess. And um, I eat a good meal. It's a very solid, good meal. And it's, it's, it's really good. So yeah, and thank you for your comment and your question, E for us. The next question comes from Miss underscore Zuli Ruby. All right, I, I recognize her because she's, I think she follows me on Snapchat. Hi, hi Zuli Ruby. I don't know if your name is Zuli or Ruby, but we'll go with Ruby. <laughs> and uh, what do you eat, drink to get energy in the morning? Okay, so my morning juice consists of about four to six leaves of kale, which is the actual, I get organic kale because I just believe that the taste is so much better than the regular kale. And I get it at my Kroger because Kroger really has some good produce. And... Um, that I put a whole big cucumber, a whole cucumber. I peel it. I don't like the whole outer. I don't. Don't ask me why. I just don't trust it. <laughs> and uh, I also put uh, ginger, 
I put about, you know, there's a ginger root. I put about half, about an inch of it, like in size. So this much, you know, Granny Smith apple. I also put strawberries. You can put blueberries, but I put strawberries. I can say strawberry. I like the taste of it uh, along with the all the other ingredients. And what else do I put? I put chia seeds at the, at the end of all that. That tastes good. So, yeah. I think that's about, oh, and grapes, green grapes. I put green grapes. If I'm not gonna go ahead and drink juice in the morning, I'll go ahead and have an oatmeal because I've, I've always loved oatmeal, especially like the brown maple one. That's so good. So good. But then if you add the brown maple one that's sugar-free and add some natural um, fruits in it, like strawberries and berries or blueberries, oh, so good. It's so good and it fills you up and it, and it keeps you with a lot of energy, it gives you energy throughout the day we have lydia's journey 15 i was actually just talking about her in my in my other project that i have uh she's so awesome she 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 keeps me on my toes especially you know things that she says it's really it's really cool so thank you lydia for for all your comments and everything that you for all the love okay it says what is what was the defining moment the moment you said that's enough you're amazing by the way just another one of my inspirations <laughs> thank you so much uh, the moment I said it was enough was when I was connected to a CPAP machine. It's a machine to use for sleep apnea. Those who uh, have trouble breathing or not, yeah, have trouble breathing or can't breathe on their own at night. I was having a problem that I would stay about a minute or two without being able to breathe at night. And that was kind of like very scary. And I remember that I couldn't sleep on my own bed because just all the fact that I kind of accumulated here on my chest when you would lay down like everything would just kind of like trap my neck and my throat and you know it just block a lot of air supply so I would sleep on a recliner in the living room and uh, I remember being connected to it and I would just hear the machine so loud it was like, and then you know giving you all this air you know this oxygen to breathe and I was like what the heck am I doing with this? Like, why am I even connected to this? How did it get so far in this whole thing? How, why am I connected? I never thought I would, I would see people connected to that machine and I'd be like, no, that's never going to be me. Guess what? It did happen and it can happen to anybody. And you don't even have to be as fat as I was. It can happen to anybody who's not taking care of themselves and not eating right. So let's get Let's get to eat right, everybody, because you don't want to be on that machine. It's a scary machine. It's like you have everything like around your head tightening because there's the, the air or the oxygen flow can't get out. So it's all like tight and everything. And you just feel like I get it. I, I mean, I don't like it at all. The next question is from Viviana Mercy. Anything you would do differently? Thank you, Viviana. Uh, anything you would do differently since you started your journey? Uh, and then her other question is, what are your favorite meals? Okay, anything I would do different from when I started my journey, I would have started juicing earlier. Because juicing for me is one of the top things that I would recommend anybody before ever even starting a diet or to start eating healthy or from one drastic change to another. Because what juicing does, it resets your whole body and it gives you like this clean slate. Like if you're like a brand new born baby, like that's how it feels like. So your stomach is now, it, it's out even better. It's healed. There's not a lot of toxins in there and all that stuff. Everything has kind of just gone away. And it's a really good way to start anything like that. So I would have started juicing earlier and I would have continued juicing because I've noticed that with juicing, I keep myself hydrated and I also have a lot of energy throughout the day. Today in the morning, I went to the gym and I took my uh, morning juice and it was one of those like it woke me up i was in the morning i was like dreading it i was like no i don't want to go to the gym and i was even like trying to quit you know i'm even like you know i didn't want to go at all so i took that and it boosted me up and i had the best workout i've had in years like i was burning off calories left and right left and right and I just kept increasing the resistance, the incline. I did some weights, something that I haven't done. And I did a little. I didn't do, I didn't put a lot of weight on it. I put 15 and just did a lot of repetitions, you know. And I did great. 
I believe I do great. So, yeah. Uh, what are your favorite meals? My favorite meals would have to be, I like tilapia. There's a meal that I did yesterday that I, I'm now going to go ahead and do it. I've always kind of done it, but I didn't do it as, I didn't dedicate so much time before. But now I, I saw this uh, recipe on Pinterest, lemon garlic tilapia. So what I go ahead and do is that I put this salt, which is 33% less sodium in it. And I, I put only on the top, on one side. And then on the other side, I put the, the Mrs. Dash lemon pepper. So that goes ahead and gives it a little tangy, you know, kind of cool taste to it. Put the layer of the couscous underneath the tilapia. That way when you're eating it, it mixes in with the flavors that you already put on the tilapia. And it tastes so good. And then um, uh, ste some steamed vegetables. It has zucchini, carrot, red peppers, and cauliflower really good steamed vegetables it's the best thing quickest thing to do that is part of the questions on here i know that i had another one i don't remember the name of the user i know that he's messaged me about twice about getting this question answered and he was uh he was asking about my hair um that he noticed in some of my pictures that i didn't have like really healthy hair or very short hair like i was you know going bald or something and then my hair looked fuller later on right now i just had it cut about two weeks ago and it's still a little short because I wanted it short because it's the summer and everything like that but um, I do grow like really like really good hair now and I'm I believe that it all has to do with the juicing every single time that I drink juice my hair is like like in two weeks this is already growing now so thank you so much for seeing this video this is was short and sweet you know, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and answer these questions that you guys have. If you guys have any more questions, please don't hesitate to send them, to tweet them, everything like that. All the social media that I'm in are down in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And you want to see more, give it a thumbs up. That way I know that you guys like it and I can keep producing stuff like this for you guys. I've also gone ahead and joined You Now. It's an app online that you can use. This is You Now right here. And in this app, I get to broadcast myself to a public and yeah, I get to broadcast myself to an entire community of users on this app. I'm going to actually be doing one uh, this weekend and I want you to be there. So I'll leave all the links right here or right here or somewhere around here or in the description below. Everything that you need to know about me. And my journey is down in the description below. So hopefully, you know, this video reaches out to somebody out there that really needs some, you know, some a little push. And there's nothing wrong in getting a little push. It's all for the better good. So I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week and weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye.